I have a Maytag Bravo's Quiet Series 300 dryer. It will not run when I hit the start button. I suspect the thermal fuse is blown. Do you recommend also replacing the high heat thermostat? I noticed that the dryer ran very hot recently. This has happened before and we probably have a clogged vent that will be cleaned out also. The fuse was replaced at that time also and it ran fine. Hello from John my name is Woody. I will be glad to assist you today. I have been servicing all major brands of appliances for 35 years and have over 100,000 in home repairs and over 80,000 internet repairs under my belt. Can I please have the full model number of the unit to better assist you? Open the dryer door and the model number will be on the tag on the interface frame. Does the time display count down after you have pressed the start button? The model number is. No, there is no display countdown. Thank you. Do you have a volt ohm meter and know how to use it to be able to do any testing? No, not yet. I've seen online how to test the fuse with a voltmeter. Okay, you said there is no display countdown but I show that it does have a time display window on the left side of the console. Do you mean the display is blank? Ah, uh, yes, there is a time display. I really did not pay attention and I've already opened the front panel. Is it safe to plug it back in to see what shows up? Yes, it should be safe as long as you have not removed any wiring. Okay. Hold on, let me run down to the laundry room. No problem. The display just shows the time remaining. It is not blank and it is not counting down. Okay, now you do realize it would take one minute for it to count down to change the display, correct? Oh no, I thought it was immediate after plugging it in. So wait for a minute to see if it is counting down. Yes, you will need to wait at least 60 seconds. Okay, hold on. Okay. No, there is no countdown. Okay, so you're saying that the time display stays on the same number? Or that the display window is blank? It stays on the same number. Okay, then it is not a thermal fuse. If you open the dryer door, does the interior cavity light go on? The interior light is on. Okay, the door switch has two sets of contacts in it, one for the light and one for the dryer to run. Got it. But without a meter there is no way to tell to be 100% sure. I recommend buying a meter inexpensive ones can be purchased for less than $10. A new door switch is around $40 a new control board is over $200. I'm back. Sorry. So what do I check with the voltmeter? I would first check the door switch. Unplug the dryer from the wall then open the console and remove the P8 connector off of the main control board and test the P8 dollar tan wire to the 8 to 3 white wire for continuity with the door closed. And with the door open you will not have continuity, closed will have continuity. 
If this is not the reading you are getting then replace the door switch assembly http colon slash www.repairclinic.com slash part detail slash door switch slash w1020178514819 question mark recade equals 100070 if you do get the correct readings then you will need to replace the main control board http colon slash www.repairclinic.com slash part detail slash main control board slash w101 11621-1480756 question mark recade equals 100070 if you have any questions just reply back okay thank you no problem good luck if you need me again for any other issues you can request me whrlp master tech and even after you rate me today if you have a question just reply back to me I will still assist you, no extra charges. But rating me is the only way I get paid for my time. Okay. Got it. Hello. You gave me the following instructions yesterday and I'm not sure where the P8 dollar tan wire is, and test the P8 dollar tan wire to the, 8 to 3 white wire for continuity with the door closed. And with the door open you will not have continuity, close will have continuity. Those connections are on the main control board inside the unit's door. Hi. I had a problem with my Maytag Bravo's 300 dryer and Woody helped me with the diagnosis. He thought it might be either the door switch or the control panel. I have replaced both items and the dryer still does not start. Help. Okay so have you replaced the door switch and the control board when you power the dryer up select any cycle and press start does the time display still not count down? And what is the part number of the control board you replaced? I just noticed the number is down. Okay so that is more than what we had last time correct? Although I was expecting it to count down by seconds not minute. I may not have been patient the last time to notice. Yes it only counts down every minute. Okay so it counts down, but it is not running, so let's test for voltage leaving the main control board going down to the motor. Test the blue wire on P91 to the tan wire on P84 looking for 120 volts AC. Okay. Not getting any voltage reading. Oh and of course the timer has to be counting down when you do this testing also. Ah uh, okay wait. Number 120 voltage reading. There is also an audible click coming from the control panel when in press the start button. Okay no voltage on the blue wire to the tan wire the unit is counting down and this is a new control board. Okay with the unit counting down as if it was running let's test the blue P91 wire to the white P83 wire. Also looking for 120 volts AC. Okay I am getting reading on both sets of wires. I had the multimeter incorrectly set. But still not 120V. Oh okay. Do you think it was also set wrong when you first started testing the dryer in September? No it was on AC voltage then. Could it be a DOA control board? Okay. So with the meter set correctly you still do not have voltage on blue to tan or blue to white and the dryer time display is counting down is that correct? What cycle is the dryer set for? Okay got voltage reading on both at 125. It is set for normal cycle. I meant 120V. Okay so now you do have voltage on blue to both wires tan and to white. 
So next you will need to unplug the dryer from the outlet and raise the top panel it has two clips on each front top corner. Push the clips in with a putty knife dot semicolon and raise the top panel. And then from the inside of the dryer with the top panel raised up like a car hood. On the inside of the front panel are two screws remove those screws and then you can pick the front panel up and off the dryer panel. And once the panel is off you can move it aside and leave the door switch wires on the front panel and under the drum on the blower housing. Left side of dryer you will see a thermal fuse that have toe blue wires on it. Remove those two wires and with a paper clip slide the paper clip in one terminal and then slide the second terminal over the exposed end of the paper clip. Make sure the terminal or the paper clip are not touching any metal. Plug the dryer back in and power it up press start and see if it will now start. Okay. Item 41 is the thermal fuse. HTTP colon slash www.partadvantage.com slash diagram slash 2 slash 0 slash 00040196 slash 680 slash 900. Here is a link to the part if it does then run. HTTP colon slash www.repairclinic.com slash part detail slash thermal fuse slash 3390719 slash 2923 question mark SS equals X 3333393037313939 and Mr. equals 0 question mark Ricade equals 1000070 if you have any questions just reply back. Thanks. I followed all the instructions and replaced the thermal fuse. Dryer works but now gives L2 code on panel display, low or no line voltage. I have reset circuit breaker and code still comes on. Ok you will have to be able to test the incoming voltage to the unit where the cord attaches to the unit. And check all the connections up on the main control board. L2 flashes if low line voltage, less than 50 volts, is detected at installation. And of course the line voltage should be 120 volts checked to see if a household fuse has blown or L2 low slash no line a circuit breaker has tripped. Voltage confirm the power cord is properly installed and plugged into the power outlet. Check the relay connections on the machine control electronics. I've checked the circuit breaker and it was did not trip. The connectors on the circuit board look ok. Is there a particular connection that would cause the L2 code? No particular connection it just says low voltage does not say if it is the L1 or L2 legs to the dryer both are 120 volts combines they make 240 volts AC. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.